Hi everyone, my name is Mallory and today I'm going to go over the Bowtie Dashboard and show you how you can use the chat portal to communicate with your clients. Once you go live, your AI will be operating in the background at all times, helping you respond to your clients' requests. Your clients will be able to chat with your bot on your website or message your new Bowtie texting number to make appointments and ask questions. Additionally, when a client calls your business line but you're unable to answer, the client's going to receive the new call text. Bowtie allows your client to interact with your business even when you're unable to take their call. So it gives you the freedom and peace of mind that your clients are being taken care of. Whether your bot is responding to your clients via text or through the web chat, you'll be able to access all of these interactions in your Bowtie chat portal. To access your chat portal, log into your account and click the My Messages tab here. This is where you can manage your bot's conversations, initiate chats with your clients, and check your incoming voicemail messages. The four sections in the Inbox section of the chat portal, Live, my queue, today's chats, and archived are quick filters for your conversations. From any of these filters, you'll be able to manually contact a client by clicking on this plus icon, typing in the phone number, and sending them a message, which you're going to be able to begin typing down here. This is going to come in handy if you need to reach out to a client for a last minute schedule change or if you're running late, for example. Chats in the live chats tab are conversations where your bot has temporarily shut itself off for that client, allowing you to have a direct conversation with them to resolve their request. Essentially, your AI has temporarily transferred responsibility of the client over to a staff member, and it's now time for you to manually respond to them. Keep in mind that when someone needs human assistance and is waiting in the live tab, you're going to get notified via email and through a push notification on your Bowtie app. So you'll be aware that these are coming in. When you click on a conversation, you'll see a toolbar right here on the bottom. You can use this to send a message just like you would if you were texting from your phone. You'll also have the option of sending an emoji, the business contact card, and even a secure payment link to collect this client's credit card information. There are two basic channels your clients might be using to chat with the AI, text message or live chat. Here's an example of a text. So see this client's waiting in the text message mode indicated by the green message icon here on the top right. This is important because some clients might be chatting with the AI through the web widget before they were transferred to live mode. You can switch between this text and web by clicking the send via button here. Since they might have already left their computer or closed their tab, the best way to ensure you reach out to a client would be to respond via text message. As a rule of thumb, whenever you're resolving a chat in the live tab, you'll want to make sure you've switched to SMS. This way, your clients will be able to see your messages on the go. Once you've answered this client's question or request, you're going to want to mark it as resolved as soon as possible by clicking this big red button. This will move the thread out of the live chat into today's tab. Once the conversation is back in the today's chat tab, the bot will turn back on for that client. Keeping your live chat and my cues tabs clear is a great way to ensure your clients are taken care of. Moving on to the my cue tab, this section is a bit different. Conversations in this tab have been automatically flagged by your bot as needing your attention. Unlike the live tab, your AI bot is still automatically responding to clients waiting in the queue. But if a conversation is in this section, you'll typically have to intervene by text or giving the customer a callback. There are a few reasons why a conversation might end up in this section. This label in the upper right hand corner of each chat gives you an indication of why the AI has flagged this for you. A typical example would be that a customer starts booking an appointment with the bot but stops midway. Your AI flags these conversations so that you have the opportunity to proactively reach out to this client and ask if they're still interested. Conversations will also appear in my queue if the client asks a question that the bot wasn't able to answer, or if they leave a voicemail message, responds to the follow-up question with feedback, or calls from a landline and was unable to receive that missed call text. To resolve a chat in my queue, you can either start live chat or mark as resolved. 
Clicking start live chat will move the conversation into live mode, allowing you to directly message the client, just like we saw previously. If you decided to give them a call back instead or find the thread doesn't require intervention, you can click mark as resolved and the thread will move out of my queue and back into today's chats and the bot will continue to help the client. Speaking of today's chats, the chats in the today tab are all conversations that occurred today and are being handled automatically by your bot. Conversations in this section are completely automated and don't require your attention, but you can filter through these to see how the bot's helping out your clients. You'll be able to reference past conversations in the archive section. Notice if you click on a conversation, you'll be able to scroll through this client's chat history as well as their user profile by clicking this button here. Because Bowtie is integrated with your scheduling platform, when a return client starts chatting, you'll be able to see their contact details, payment info, and booking history right here. So if it's a new client, any information submitted through the bot will be synced with your booking system database as well. You'll see all of your customer's details on that right-hand side panel. When a client leaves a voicemail, you can listen to the audio file in the voicemail queue. If the audio is good enough quality, you're also going to be able to read a transcription of the message. So to sum up the chat portal, you can think of live chats and my queue as your to-do list. Ideally, you want to sort through these conversations and mark them resolved as soon as you can. Once all of your conversations are in the today tab, you can rest assured the AI bot has everything under control and that your clients are being taken care of. And did you know you can also access your chats and voicemail on the go from the Bowtie mobile app, which you can download on Android or iOS today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.